Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at Asus Zenfone Max M1 Pi port for a Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this one is a full port from the Asus Zenfone Max M1 and you can see uh, we get the pure uh, stock feel. So it is using pure ASP as a stock ROM. So you can see into home settings, we get a pixel like launcher. So the settings, the UI steel. You can see notification dots, add a glance, add icon to home screen, display Google Apps, suggestions, all simple, simple things are seen in the launch. Now moving inside, we get to see these apps. You can see some Asus apps are also there like the calculator and this uh, service center shit, which can be, uh, oops, uh, it's, it cannot be uninstalled, but maybe you can disable it. Yes, you can disable this shit. So you can see the bloatware can be disabled. But yeah, there was like, like there should be an uh, option to uninstall it because that's not exactly uh, like true shit. But yeah, it's okay. It's a full firmware for from Zenfone Max Pro M1, so it's okay. Now moving into the settings, you can see we get the stock Pi. There is no customization to the settings UI and all. You can see uh, into the battery, it's all the same. Then going into display same similar options we see with this see this smart screen on so extend the screen on time while you are looking at it and holding the device so it's exactly like the smart stuff seen in samsung devices and you can see ambient display so we don't get always on display of course screen color so you can like make it warm or make it cool but default is actually well so you can see you can make the device cooler or warmer so it's a good option for this uh, rom uh, like the port ROM, blink light, so maybe it is this flashlight or uh, the LED light maybe, device theme, so you can choose light and dark theme. Let's go back, sound, we have the same normal options for sound, also the touch sound, we get touch vibration which are like default disabled. And then we have this normal gestures, like all the normal settings we see, Zen motion isn't working, like there is nothing in here, so it may be exclusive to the Zenfone devices only but as the support there should be some options but maybe the developer has removed also we get a swipe on home button the pixel bar and you can see it's something different like there is a circle around here I don't know why but the circle stays here you can see the circle and the pill bar then now guys as is supported ROM we take a look at what's working and what's not now almost here whatever I have used in this like device for with this ROM Everything works fine for me. You can see we have Volte also. Also mobile data works. So I have to turn it on. So you can see the mobile data, VOLT, everything works fine. And you also have this VOLT icon, like a weird icon. But yeah, this is access icon. Now everything works here. The camera, you there is like no camera here, but if you install Gcam, it works fine. So yeah, easy install any gcam and it will work fine and the gcam link will also be in the description which i just installed and yeah everything works fine in that gcam so there are no issues actually and yeah we have uh, uh what else uh, uh bluetooth and all everything works fine there are no issues and yeah as this was stock chrome uh, you can like theme it with substratum if it uh, uh, works with like it will obviously work with root only because it's a stock chrome so yeah like nothing more about this stock rom but it's much stable for daily usage i have used it for two three days but then i just like tried out the rom and forgot to take the backup but still yeah also i am not at all concerned about the battery backup on this ported rom because this is a ported rom from other device so yeah maybe you can check about the battery usage from other users in the telegram group or like you can expect six to seven hours easily on this rom if you are a heavy user and yes pubg playing like just don't try i don't know why but pubg doesn't play as well on this uh ported drum but yeah it works nicely on uh like if you are uh, looking at uh, taking a look at the hardware and i have the 3 gb ram variant so yeah pubg plays really like okay okay -ish. and also the start time is really uh, like really long so yeah and yep that is uh it uh, for this uh, short video on the asus zenfone max pro m m1 uh port for a redmi note 5 the redmi 5 plus so if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not then the dislike button so now if you want to take a look at the installation just follow the next steps so uh, and yes if you're following the next steps just power off your device before installing it let's start with the installation so already you have powered off your device so press the volume up and power button and you can install it using any uh, twrp recovery i'm using the batik recovery so yeah 
you can try orange fox or maybe normal TWRP or biotech recovery okay so you have to just press this until the boot logo comes or it will just reboot again so yeah keep this in mind every time why is it taking so long now guys after booting into the recovery go to wipe now first you have to take a backup oops uh, you have to take a backup of all of your existing rom so just take that then go to advanced wipe now these are the options in here so just need to leave internal storage and micro sd just to wipe everything else oops <laughs> everything else which is needed okay wipe is complete go to install as is zenfone max pro m1 reboot after installation so you can see rom sports by sm jadeja and he usually ports rom from different oems to wins so yeah also the one plus six port is available i'll surely post the video review of that soon after this one so yeah stay subscribed and stay tuned so you can see it has the 3.18 kernel not the 4.9 and yeah 3.18 with one 3.3 three tag so let this install we will check it with the reboot so guys the installation is done now just need to reboot system and you can see the boot logo and if you want such custom boot logos i already made a video so if you have not just seen it just take a look at it here and just wait for the zenfone boot animation yeah, the boot animation is also like good, looks good and like really different so yeah you can see this is the boot animation and just wait for it to boot and it will boot really uh, like quickly so yeah that's it for this uh, video review and installation for the asus zenfone max pro m1 pi port for a redmi 5 plus or the redmi note 5 so if you guys have liked this video press the like button if not the dislike button subscribe here the red button for the more like more videos and if you want to like be a part of the family uh so yeah bye bye nothing else tada -da.